The first alternative is baseline growth, which is informed by Oceana's baseline growth trends. Assumptions of the baseline growth scenario include maintaining Oceano's existing low-density residential areas with the addition of ADUs, increasing housing density in key areas to accommodate baseline population growth, and mixed-use development in the downtown area. Another consideration of this growth scenario is the maintenance and preservation of agricultural lands surrounding the community, with no future development in these areas. Furthermore, the existing auto-oriented circulation network is largely maintained with the introduction of sidewalk improvements as vacant land is developed. Under this alternative, land uses range from low to high density residential, potential ADU areas, mixed use, industrial, and open space. They are illustrated and indicated in the map as follows. The Strand neighborhood continues to accommodate medium density residential housing, indicated in orange, and low density housing near the airport, indicated in yellow. The Pier Avenue and downtown neighborhoods accommodate high density residential and mixed use. These are indicated in brown. The industrial district allows for medium density housing in the northern half and light industrial uses in the southern half, which are indicated in purple. The central and southern districts continue to be predominantly low density and are indicated in yellow. Parcels that we identify to have ADU capacity are pink. Parcels with the potential for new parks within central and southern Oceana are indicated in green. To maintain the low density character of central Oceana while accommodating for future growth, the vacant lots in Strand and Pier Avenue contain medium to high density housing. High density housing could consist of townhomes, condominiums, and small apartments. Downtown also accommodates high density housing with some mixed use. And single family homes under this alternative remain the dominant, predominant housing type in Oceano. Vacant parcels in the industrial neighborhood accommodate future industrial uses. Two-story mixed use is proposed for vacant properties in the downtown area to accommodate future commercial growth. These mixed uses can supply space for retail or service developments on the first floor, while the second floor is reserved for residential use. The circulation network in Oceano is currently auto-oriented with a handful of bus stops in the community. This baseline scenario maintains this pattern but introduces two potential improvements. The first of these improvements is a pedestrian safety crosswalk on Highway 1 with flashing beacons to create safer pedestrian access to the beach. The second improvement in, is the expansion of the sidewalk network as vacant land is developed. These areas of potential sidewalk improvement are indicated by the red parcels, which are currently vacant. These are the three key growth areas identified by the baseline growth scenario. They are centered around Pier Avenue, the industrial neighborhood, and downtown. Picture here is a model showing Pier Avenue accommodating high density residential housing concentrated in vacant parcels along Pier Ave and Highway 1. The industrial neighborhood continues to be developed with industrial buildings, while medium density housing, like townhouses, fill the north end. Industrial uses are identified on purple, with residential uses indicated in orange. In the downtown, mixed-use buildings are developed along Front Street, and, and high-density residential in the form of small apartments are set back from the highway. These mixed-use buildings are modeled as two-story buildings along Highway 1.
Under the baseline growth scenario, key outcomes include the retention of low-density, single-family detached homes as the dominant housing type in Oceana. Small parks develop on vacant parcels within central and southern Oceana. <coughs> Maintenance of the transportation and street network as auto-oriented. Identify circulation improvements on low-impact pedestrian safety measures. No development on agricultural lands and future growth is accommodated from new development as infill on vacant parcels. 